It's time to play Backpack Battles all day. Let's begin by admiring the fact that all the objects appear to be bouncing off the top of my head. Yeah, oh, wait, oh. Ow, ugh, ugh. So, <laughs> I have just recently heard about this game. Um, and if you look at the concurrent player base, it's kind of like, you know, bouncing around tiny, and then recently it was just gone like And that's why it has popped on my radar. Uh, I don't know that much about this game, other than that it's auto battlery. This is as much as I have seen, so I'm going to go ahead and responsibly click this just once before invariably going into a ranked game. So let's see if it does any kind of tutorial. All right, buy items by dragging them from uh, from the shop to the inventory. Great. All right. Gain one luck. Luck increases your accuracy by 5% per stack. Ah. Banana. Every five seconds, heal for four and regenerate one stamina. Okay. But I also see that there are stars around the banana. Food triggers 10% faster for each star. Food of a different type, not banana. Wait. Healing herbs. Okay, so what do I do when I'm done? Start backpack battle? By the power of capitalism, where's my money? 10, I have 10 gold. So I can, can I move these things around? Oh, can I hit R? Okay, well, this is the game. Heals one health per stack every two seconds. Piggy bank. Shop entered, gain one. All right, well, you can rotate an item. You have grabbed with a right click mouse wheel or R. Oh my God. Why are these things? Lucky Piggy? Okay, like right away, this game is like, you already know how the game is played. <laughs> so it appears to be that when I place this, a Lucky Clover and a Piggy combine to make a Lucky Piggy, but I probably need another Lucky Clover. And I'm content just saying that's the way that that is. Go ahead and get some healing herbs. So I see no matter where I'm holding the pig, it's indicating to me that there is a foundational connection. All right, let's see if we can touch the tips. Oh, that feels better than I thought it would. <laughs> okay, so it uh, looks like we are going to be playing Tetris plus comboing. Looking for opponent. Oh, it's actual multiplayer? Oh my god, yes. This game's gonna kill me right away. 25% to gain this and read one stamina. So I assume this is like a block type thing. Dude, I'm getting owned. Wait, 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 wait. What year is it that the very first game is against a human being that craps on you? I'm sorry, what? I don't believe this. But also at the same time, this is the Dark Souls of auto battling games. I'm used to games like Marvel Snap, where at all times you're playing against a bot. <laughs> I bet that hurts. Ease the pain by shopping. Yeah, it's a little too true. It's a little too true. Hey, look at this. Here's the chances. Add four backpack. Bro. Bro. All right, so I'm going to do this. And then if I... If I get this... Yo, what? So, can I place these in such a way... Is there, is there like, a location to store these? Probably the storage. Let me tell you something. This game... <laughs> it operates in a way that you'd imagine. Okay. Okay, so... So if I want those to line up, what I want to do is I don't actually have a wide enough thing, so I messed up by arranging it like this, but I can do I can do some semi-positive stuff. Get out of there. Because if I do like this, and then I 
put this whole banana here. Oh wait, it's oh can only be a maximum of one. <gasps> oh no. Okay, so I can actually do this, and I can just like jam that there, and they're both getting two stars. Okay, so let's actually just read what this says. Every four seconds, cleanse a random debuff. You have at least five lucky clovers. Fifty percent chance to gain one. It says up. Oh, and it says it right down there. Luck. Increase accuracy by five. Okay. Weapon damage is increased by one per stack. Nice. Triggers 10% faster for each food of a different type that's not the carrot. What is this? Walrus Tusk? Start a battle? Deals one damage per stack when being hit with a melee weapon? All right, well, I'm just I'm just gonna hit go. You will gain gold every round. Next round, plus nine. Leftover gold transfers to the next round. I wonder how this how this occurs. And Vary says, how much backseating are we interested in today? Here's our backseating policy. Mods, pay attention. If, 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 if you're looking at the game and saying, I like this here, or I have enjoyed this. Here's something I've done. I'm about this. Great. If you say, Sean, you need to do this. Sean, get this. Buy that. Do this. If you're, if you're talking about commands and asking me to do things, get out of here. Get out of here. No one likes someone who's like, you're playing a game? Let me slide my hands underneath yours and click the buttons myself. Oh, thank God. I'm playing the game again. What a relief. <laughs> like... Oh, wait, the bag has... I'm getting 5% critical chance for each clover? Oh. I wonder if that has anything in it. One health every two seconds. We're kind of the same person. Wet step. Fatigue sets in. Fatigue damage three, four. Ah, yes, the escalation. I think... Did you hear me pathetically die? Uh, oh no, I'm dying! Uh. All right, what does this say? Items inside gain 5% critical chance for each lucky clover. All right, well, uh, well. So I'm strongly considering, let me go right click, right click. Shield seems so broke. But, yeah, I mean, this is, all, this is all you can fit in there. So these have connections. Great. Oh, wait, can I just leave this here? Stone. Oh, 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 next round is plus nine again? Starting a backpack battle. Huh. Huh. All right, Zimba. What does a pan do? Plus one damage per food? Dude, I'm going to lose every single game. Oh, wait, no, my shield activated. Let's go. Hold on, I'm horking bananas faster than I ever thought. Her. What is this horn? What is this loud garlic? Huh? Hammer. Very well. How much how much money do I have you on 13? I'm sorry, wait. What? What is get out of here? Oh, it's a T-shape? What the The item's ready to fuse. Wait until the next round for them to combine. Yeah. Get out of here. Uh, uh. 
Now what happens if I do this? Oh, I need two Lucky Clovers for the Lucky Piggy. This is some garbage right here. All right, hold on, hold on. All right, so we're gonna get that in there. Maybe I'll just jam in another pig, because I like money more than I like health. This, this better match make me into a victory here. Bunch of coins. Oh, I can re-roll. I'm not gonna re-roll. By the power of capitalism. Okay, so I see. So I can get the hammer to smash the piggy bank. That's incredibly cute. What is this guy handing me? I was triggered 20% faster. I also have more health. I wonder why. What is this horn? Stunned. Oh, are we winning once? Are we actually winning once? Are we are we serious? Take that, Lysithia. What does hide mean? Oh, I see. So I can actually look at what these things do. Speeds things up. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, I see. The stamina cost spends this bar. Ah. Ah. All right. Let's continue. To lock? Okay, so how do I how do I sell this? Oh. Flute? Randomly gain that or two stamina or two block? I mean I guess I'll get this. I'm gonna buy this too. Oh, dude, this fucking game. Okay. Alright. This is the game. What does this do? Legendary? Every three seconds, star items are 5% faster, 4% remove one luck from your opponent. Oh, my. It's, it's the bird of the day. So is this... So here, here's an actual backseat question. It says items inside trigger 10% faster. If just the tip of an item is in there, is that considered in the backpack? I'm wondering if I have just the tip and, and it, it does, it does count. I always knew it did. Okay, so let's... All right, this is starting to look like my back, back, backpack in Ultima 7 here. This is... So if I do this, it doesn't... Procs. They actually need to be proximally close. Got it. And I don't have enough lucky piggy stuff. All right, I have eight bucks. I'm gonna reroll. Bing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna regen it up. Stamina usage very high. Rats. It's fine, this is the game. <laughs> what does this thing do again? It's a star item, so I have no star items, huh? Oh, the horn honk is when I'm out of stamina. Alright, we're again. Lascasb. Oh, wait, what does this do? Yeah. Sweet. I won? I haven't even been paying attention. This is fantastic. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, what is this? Stone skin potion? It was 20 looking for... What? What's this? Heroic potion? When you have no stamina left, you drink two stamina and gain this and that. Bro. Dude, that is... What? That is insane. So I have... I'm getting this. 
What, and this works with bananas? I can make a heroic banana potion? Unreal. Go, 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 go. Okay. So, um, question. So this is every three seconds, star items trigger a little faster. Remove one blah from your opponent. So when it says star, it is the star with respect to the bird, not the flute is blasting a star into the bird. So... Let's see here. Star affected slots marked with blank will become blank. Bird is doing nothing. Hey, hold on. Let me just... We're going to clear chat again. If you come into this chat and say, do this, that doesn't do anything. Fix this, do this. You got to do that, you got to do this. You should do this. Just kindly ban yourself from my chat. I have been playing this game for like 15 minutes. Almost all the mechanics I don't know. And we're good. We're having a blast. We're completely fine. And infrequently, I will ask a very specific question, and I'm interested in responses to that specific question, and that's it. Next time, you get the spray chat. Thanks, Tuesday Twitch. We have an exclamation mark spray option. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to dump these things, because I want to see what happens when I give myself a banana elixir. Strong heroic potion. Interesting. Okay, so... Heroic Potion. After activation, also applies the effect of the blank potion without consuming it. What does it mean by without consuming it? I wonder. What is this thing? Pestilence Flask. Okay, so here's my understanding. I assume that this says when you have no stamina left, regenerate two stamina and gain that much. I assume that this is consume, and this might be a one-use potion. Because my assumption was that 100% of the time, I would be receiving... <laughs> this bonus. But it seems that that is untrue. So if I do like this... Why, why is it always above? Well, that's poopy. So I'll do like this. Then I can full loot. All right, so then, then this says, triggers 10% faster for each blank item. I see, so we can only get one star in there because of that. Nice. This is awesome. How much money do I even have left? I'm gonna pull this. What is this? A bag of stones? Helmet, start battle, reduce, what? Dragon skin boots? So this is when your health drops below 70%, do this. So if I regain my health and it drops back down again, actual backseating question, does that mean the dragon skin boots proc two times? Or is it kind of like potions, where it procs once? Some of you are saying nope and yes. Um, I don't know what you are saying. Only triggers once, I see. So, is there any way to rearrange this? Not a lot of places for this thing to go. I'm going to peel out one of these and get the bird of the day in there somewhere. The bird of the day over there. I just don't care. 
I, I'm not gonna overthink this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like go ahead and fight, fight. I, I'm curious how these things will go. What is this? Holy! Kill him! Oh my god! I was actually quite close. Oh my god. You can just stay on the left, do this? I don't remember what it was originally. Let's find out. And this is... Star items for your 5% faster. So I actually kind of want the bird sticking up. What? Oh my god, things are so big. Everything is so big. Oh my god, the bird is screaming. Because here's the thing, the first time I had the bird, I had it like this. So in my brain, I was like, oh yeah, that bird, it just yells one star out. I mean, that's a Why would I want to do this? But as it turns out, no, this is not a mere bird. This is the bird of the day. Because, like, these have rotating star patterns. These do not. Mama Mia. So that would be a good one to have. Oh, I didn't even see that that was there. <laughs> LMFAO. So, yeah. If I add this over here, then I can get this, like here, pop that thing in there. This is the game. So this is a... How do I look at just the, the bag? Alright. Oh. That's worse than I thought. Why is that so bad? Is uh, So I guess this is not an item? Because this says... Star items trigger 5% faster. So why does this not... Oh, because it only triggers once. This is a timing activation every 5 seconds. This is a triggered activation when your opponent regenerates health. So let me pull these things down and just... Okay. Nice. Now I can do some other optimizations, but I, I think I don't, I've don't. i never cared about that. Alright, I'm just gonna go. Uh-oh, this is, this is a bit of an issue, huh? This is a bit of an issue, huh? All right, Anna Zach. Oh my God, are we winning? What is this? This is spikes. I don't even know what's causing the spikes, but I am lucky as hell. Oh my God, Anna Zach is getting absolutely crunkled. Oh my God, goodbye, Anna. See you later. Round one, three in a row, tic tac toe. Excited to connect four in a moment. All right, let me let me get rid of this. What is this, Gubert? When star items. When star items activated five times, heal for 12. Okay, whatever. Wooden sword, pathetic. Spike shield, gain one spike every time you gain 20 block. Gain one spike. Oh, start a battle, gain one spike. And then, as a separate effect, every time you gain 20 block, gain more spike. On melee attack, gain one block. Got it. This is sweet. Oh yeah, this is the game right here. 
Oh, what's this? Customer card? Because we're out of, uh, of one item in the shop every time it refreshes? Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? Mana? Wait, what? Resource used by magic items, but where's the mana? I do declare. Okay, what, what was giving me the spikes? Oh yeah, this thing. I didn't even read what this thing does. I just bought it. <laughs> Capitalism. All right, start a battle. Gain two thorns. Deals plus one damage per thorn. On crit, gain a thorn. Crit chance 15. Mm. All right, spikes deal one damage. Yup. Trick term sent faster. A fanny pack. All right, I feel, I feel like such a gamer. Dude. I don't know if you know, but you can do subclasses in this game. Alright, go out to be an Unta. Star weapons deal 30% critical damage. They remove 5 block on crit. Item activates. 50% chance to gain. Yeah, I think that that's... Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. It's also a shape. Yggdrasil Leaf. Gain mana and regeneration for each nature item. Get me out of here. I don't even know what that means. Do these things have a... Oh, I see. So you can see it says nature. Nature. This doesn't have a category. This says nature. These are potions. Nature. I have a lot of nature, huh? Pathfinder. You have 5% chance to resist ugh, for each star nature item. Interesting. Alright, I'm going to get Hunter because I can understand it. Okay, what's the difference between these? Star item activates 50% chance. Bro. So how do I rearrange this to maximize the sweetness? Uh, let's get this out of here for now. So we can do something like this. So what is this? Reflects 2 debuffs, hatch step 2, rounds in your backpack? Oh, come on. That's so sick. I get that. Takes four? Well, bad news if you're a bird of the day. So I had these originally here. Okay, this is this is in theory something I'm really good at, but we're actually gonna discover that once once we're in front of people, it's just mass performance anxiety, of course. So this is the these are the two that I want my thing in. theory, I'm really good at this. In theory. And where shall the bird scream? Ah, oh, it's screaming this way, baby. So this is probably the best spot for the bird. Not the best spot for the potions, huh? They trigger faster, huh? They trigger faster. I should sell some shit, huh? <laughs> uh oh. I kind of want this acorn collar. I like this block thingy. So, this is randomly. I feel like I, I would like this. So this is weapons. Item activates 50% chance to gain one. So like, for instance, if I did something like, give me this. If I did something like this, then this is 
proccing several things. I can actually scoot this over and do this again. And we are then low on... This looks like sem semi the greatest thing I've ever seen. All right, boots. Here we go. This is still in both the necessary slots that I want. So we're gonna sell this. I don't know why I bought this then. I don't even think I can fit it. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it at all. Ah, uh, you know what can you fucking do? Give me that. Uh. Yeah, there you go. Accuracy 85%. Where's my where's my crit percentage, huh? Cause this uh you know what? Stamina usage is low. This is where my impatience kicks in. This is why I play RTS games. I need the pressure, man. Crit chance, 10%. Hold on. It's, it's gonna grow. Too much information, huh? Yippee! Oh, it's accuracy is 5%? You're kidding me. Crit chance... 80%? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. This is the game. Stamina slap. Oh. Oh, it's is this above legendary? It says holy. This is the first game that hasn't gone. I have a good idea. What if we had something above legendary? Like I don't know, man. Use this to inflict three blind. What? How much does this sell for? Five. bought that shit, didn't I? Whoops. Alright, we're going into battle. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, what is this mess? 32, Molly, lovely. Okay, what we're gonna do after this fight is we're actually gonna read what the heck is happening on that side. I feel like I don't need survivability because I'm just the most powerful gamer. Yes! Dude, how embarrassing. She just has Goober all sideways in there. Leather armor. What is a strong health potion? Okay, when your health drops below a bit, heal for a bunch, gain some regen, and cleanse some poisson. What is the blood amulet? He does one health per stack. Or per... Oh, yeah, it is per stack, not per sack. Absolutely sick. Bum, ba da da dum 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 da I pull. I'll I'll be honest, I didn't see that I could do this before. That's 
pretty good, huh? It's pretty good. Kaka! Yeah. it go any farther than that no this is this is it this is the, the spread so I want to extend out this way oh I can't afford anything else can I well that's embarrassing all right I'm just gonna start I'm ready so this is still my gosh, key move storage efforts have been placed. It seems to be when you are doing the actual purchasing. Like on that round, I think it's okay. Are right, the heroic potions are refreshing our stamina, so that's good. Dude, villain has like so much stuff. There's more stamina. See, that's the first. Oh my god! Get her! Oh my god! Hey, not bad for someone that doesn't know what they're doing. Bag of stones. All right, so let's reroll. Oh shit, I forgot to buy the thing that I was trying to buy. All right, well, you know, sometimes you're embarrassing, it's fine. Cleanse that and heal for eight. So where's our mana pool, huh? Where is our banana mana pool? If I do like this and I put this here. Shano, your stamina usage is too high. I actually don't see any mana anywhere. Bro. Let's make it fit. All right, how, how, how much space does this thing take up? <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Oh. Do some of this. All right, this is... we can actually make this work. Lane well, forces, I find that this backpack arrangement mechanic to be too puzzle-like, which is something that distracts me from strategic elements. So you feel that uh, when your success depends a lot on puzzle-solving skills, it diminishes the value of experience, wisdom, and intuition that is usually associated with strategic success? I think I would want to understand more and ask some more questions about what you mean with what you mean by some of those words. What do you like? What are you saying to me, bro? Like, um, because because I think that lane four, when what you're doing is you are trying to ask about a specific experience within this game that is maybe feeling like it's causing some friction. And it can be hard on a first attempt to like really nail it, especially given that in Twitch chat, you have to be kind of brief and then your thing like scrolls right by. <laughs> and we're not like in a room talking to each other. So it's a little trickier. But if I understand what you're saying, it's like 
there are considerations like this, like, okay, so this says every five seconds, randomly gain this collection of things, and it triggers faster per item that it is looking at. So if I, you know, put this here, now it has four. So it's going to trigger 40% faster, which would be like three-ish seconds. So if I'm understanding you, there's like the idea of I want this to proc other things and that's like the intellectual strategic element and then underneath there's this like fiddly spatial arrangement puzzle where you are trying to enable that and maximize that and so if I'm understanding you it's like there's this sort of synergy strategy elements compositing with one another side and there's this puzzly arrangement spatial side, and it feels like those two layers for you feel like there's friction. Did I just, and that was my attempt to restate your question back to make sure I understand it. And of course I could be wrong. And while I'm taking time to figure out what to do, I will, no, I'm actually just gonna hit go, man. Figure out how this can fit later. Oh, what the, I'm sorry, what? Okay, hold on. All right, lean forward while you respond to that. I'm going to try to rearrange the backpack. The backpack. Shit, doesn't quite work, does it? Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. All right, well. So I wanted to consider doing something like down here. to this one over there. Doesn't quite do it. Okay, so... I'm trying to figure out where I can possibly place this to benefit me. Specially speaking. Feels like this is right, so we can scoot this shit up here. And we have enough room to do this. We can like almost get that turkey in there. This. this is star triggers fast reach star item. Where even is a spot that I can put this? Thing? Let me. Did I buy anything else this turn? I did. I bought that. I bought all of these this turn. Wait a minute. Can I? What? You can just rearrange stuff at any point in time. I can't believe I've done this. Oh my god. This game is going to take forever. Oh my god. Okay, so now that I believe I have a path forward, I can come back and just it, respond to some of what Lane 4 said. Oh, oops, sorry. I clicked outside of the window. Um, so let's see. Lane 4 says, I guess it's similar to the tension balancing between micro and macro in RTS games, where they feel like they are very different skills. So it might be a personal preference for me that I want to focus more on strategy elements rather than the sort of spatial puzzle element. It's like someone who wants to focus on figuring out good build orders but not stress over APM. I know exactly what you mean. Okay, I now understand exactly what you're talking about. So I'm going to build on the RTS metaphor first because I really, really, really understand RTS games. And then I'm going to try to translate that analysis to this game, which I played for like an hour. <laughs> so 
In an RTS game, I feel like the best description of what makes you feel like you're playing a real-time strategy game, it's like multiple mini games happening at the same time. So I might have a mini game where I'm managing a scout and trying to keep it alive. And then I have another mini game where I'm trying to make workers every 13 seconds to keep up with my production. And then I have another mini game where I'm trying not to get supply blocked. And then I have another mini game where I'm trying to make sure that I'm making the correct next thing in my build order. And allocating your attention and your resources among these different mini games is what makes RTS games not just feel RTS, but makes them greater than the sum of their parts. So one of my favorite examples of the way that say build order decisions and micro can build on each other is this. In StarCraft 1, there was a really common opening that Protoss players would do against Terran players where they would build two gateways to produce a generic ranged unit called a Dragoon. And Dragoons were very well rounded and in reasonable numbers, they could pretty much hold off all early Terran attacks. And so, um, a lot of the early Terran attacks involved some Marines without stim, some Vultures with maybe one upgrade, a Siege Tank with zero or one upgrades, just a little bit of pressure at the opening. And often the Dragoons would be enough to hold it off, but the Protoss player would have to deal with Spider Mines that would be placed by the Vultures. So it was sort of like Terran would move out, the Dragoons would meet, and then as a Terran retreated, they would plant mines. And pfft, there you go. And that was kind of the exchange. After the Protoss held this off, again, with two gateways, building Dragoons, all decision-making things, you would just decide to make the gateways and decide to make the Dragoons, players would follow this up by building an expansion. What then would happen over time is that Protoss players learned that they could get one gateway of Dragoons, get a range upgrade instead of building the second gateway and getting Dragoons there, and they could use one gateway of Dragoons with range and micromanage, control the Dragoons well enough so that, say, three or four ranged Dragoons could hold off the same attack that five to seven non-ranged, non-micro Dragoons would be able to hold off. And therefore, because using micromanagement meant that you were able to free up uh, a bunch of minerals. You're able to free up resources. You were able to free up all the minerals that would have been spent on the second gateway. You don't need to worry about every you know 20 or so seconds where you need to make an additional dragoon. All that money was freed up. So suddenly players were able to both expand sooner and build a robotics facility to follow up with some harassment. And if it was just a game of decision making with absolutely no control you wouldn't have been able to generate this multi-dimensional strategy where you choose, again, using the strategy side, you choose to make Dragoons and get Dragoon range, and then you micro, you use the control-based minigame to succeed and free up resources that creates new decisions, a faster expansion plus harassment with a robot. That's really marvelous. And so I think that there is a question that you'll often face if you are trying to make a strategy game where you're trying to make it deep, you're trying to make it interesting, and yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Where when you're trying to make the strategy game, you'll get a point where you'll go, hey, I am putting items in backpacks and I am doing, um, I'm getting synergy with whatever is in the backpack. Let's say the placement, the spatial, doesn't matter at all. You are in a spot where everything that's in your backpack just gives you a bonus. And if there's synergies, you just need those two objects anywhere inside of the backpack in order to make it function. You might encounter a problem where you start to find that your game is a little flat. It's just like, it has some strategic depth but not that much strategic depth, and you want more. What do you do? One solution is to deepen what you already have. Hi, Shmagegi, good to see you, Adam. Ah, welcome. We're talking about you, actually. Um, one of the ways in which you might deepen it is you might come up with more keywords. 
like, oh, hey, there's poison and here's empower and here's regeneration. Let me come up with 40 more keywords so the number of pairwise combinations that are interesting in the backpack explodes. Another way might be to start adding different shapes to these items so that you can place them in different ways. Another way might be to increase or to create this notion of adjacency as represented in this star and diamond system. All of these are different ways of just solving the problem of, hey, my game doesn't seem deep enough. Now, again, I'm gonna come back to the RTS version because I know a lot more about that. There have been games since the release of StarCraft II that have tried to say, hey, why don't we try to make an RTS that is less APM demanding than what StarCraft was? A good example of this is the game Grey Goo. And some of you are like, I've never heard of Grey Goo. And I'd be like, exactly. Grey Goo is an RTS game that, that had some cool ideas, uh, actually had some pretty killer cinematics, if I'm being honest. Um, but the game was like, you. the game would begin and you would just be like waiting for like a minute. And then you'd build something and then you'd wait for like another minute until that first building was done. And there's a lot of waiting. There's a lot of just like not doing stuff happening. In other words, if you said the APM and micro demand is too much for me in RTS, but I like the strategy stuff, if you simply just delete this, you wind up completely shrinking the space of interesting stuff. And it must be replaced with something. And so I think it's a completely fair comment, Lane 4, that you were making that, yeah, I like synergies among things, but I actually don't like spatially placing stuff. I actually think in a simple sense, that's literally fair. That's literally just completely, that's an absolutely reasonable thing to say. But if we say, well, why might they have done this? I suspect that they did this as a, an a way to give a lot more richness and a lot more depth and a lot more possibility um, in a way that is secretly a little more trackable. So what do I mean by that? Let's let's create let's define these two axes. One axis I will call keywords. And that would be things like this gives poison. This gives stamina and empower and regeneration. These are keyword based things. This has spikes and crit. Keywords, keywords, keywords. And let's define over here spatial positioning. Spatial positioning. Often, with the way a human brain works, if you just have keywords and you want to make it deeper, it's easier for a human brain to say, ah, I have positioning, that's one thing. I have keywords, that's another thing. Hmm, how do I want to solve this? That's easier than just going, we have keywords and now you have twice as many keywords. It's, it's just kind of easier. So an example might be in a game of Hearthstone, you have the decisions you're gonna make with your mana to cast stuff. Also, you have the decisions of how you're going to combat and fight things. There are two different categories and it feels easier to start thinking about this and then stop and then start thinking about this and stop and go back to thinking about this. Because right now, what I get to do is I get to go, hey, how, how can I actually get the shape of my stuff arranged properly so that I can get this stupid thing in here and also have all of my weapons touching along this line? That's kind of an interesting question. So maybe I actually need to have another line down here where this fourth thing is, and then I need to have, how, how many layers deep it's four? Yeah, maybe I need to put this here. And I think I can solve this if I just, by God, if I just click fast enough, Because, you know, like now I'm just trying to solve this spatial problem. And maybe there's a way for me to just get this individual thing in there. Oh, no, that won't quite work. I can now focus on just the spatial problem as an example and ignore the combo of keyword stuff problem. I think that's great. 
gonna need to leave both of these in here for sure. Yeah, just like that. So let's come back to the actual video game that we're trying to play here. So I don't actually want to do this one. If I did this here. See, I need just, just, I need this just tip to just slice. What does this do again? I'm gonna chuck all this shit away here. So. I think that literally cannot work the way that I want. But maybe if I do like this, where'd it go? Got it, welcome back. Oh, wow, sick. That'll work. Can't go any higher than that, huh? All right, cool. Come back here. Come sit, sit down. All right, so how, how do I, how might I do this? It goes all the way the fuck across. Yo, that's crazy. Dude, I actually kind of wish that it didn't let me rearrange everything. That feels that feels way too powerful. This does feel a little bit overpowered, if I'm being honest. All right, well. And my bird of the day is kind of hosed here. What does this bird do? I think I'm gonna actually get rid of this one. I mean, I could be here forever. What does this do? All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hit start. Yo, it starts with 90 block. Oh my god. Oh, dude, my heroic potions ran out so fast. Oh, oh, we might get there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, nice. What's this? Heals one health per stack. Maybe made a weapon. I can get another one. How does this work? Increase rarity of one item in the shop every time it refreshes. So I kind of need some more stamina stuff. It's pretty good. I mean, I'll just get this. I like the heroic potions. Every two seconds gain that, depending upon what you have the least of. This is, after activation, also applies the effect of that potion without consuming it. Alright, so I'm gonna do 
this. Alright, so now we have, like, daisy chains of things that give us oodles of stamina. Yo, I can put it there? Oh, that's actually so sick. Alright, put the luck in. Dude, yeah, no, awesome. Alright, nice. Dude, I deal a lot of damage, and these heroic potions, just regenerating all this stamina for me, is insane. Dude, I'm the best. I'm amazing. Rib saw blade? Removes that and regeneration? Hungry Blade. On hit, convert that into one. But I don't think I have anything that gives regeneration. Oh, I do have these. Another one of these, which I think is important. Oh, actually, I should just do this. There we go. So now this, they just, they just, they just proc all the way up. So I think I just want damage, right? I don't want this sort of... What's this? Every four seconds, spike it up. I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. Why not? Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start fighting because I'm not I'm not really sure what I want to change. I don't know what I want to want, and I kind of want to just iterate even more. Dude, Igor Zek just has way too much stuff in his bag. My heroic potions are proccing my heroic potions. Dude, 108 damage! <laughs> I'm incredible. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh, that was close. Dude, we're doing it. Okay, what do these do? What what even is this? A stone and a stone? Stone skin potion? When you have at least 20 block, convert 15 health to 30 block. Yo. So, here's the thing. If we can just keep stacking heroic potions, then we actually just get all the stamina we need. So this says gain two vampirism, but we don't have any vampirism. What happened? Is something consuming that? <laughs> Is something consuming it? Ha, ha, ow. Uh, every, yeah, I see the garlic removes that one. Nice, I got countered. All right. So this is this is the final round, huh? So I have a couple questions. If I buy this, does it show me where the synergies are? Okay, so this has a little link with this thing for some reason, and I don't know why. So I'm gonna do this. So if I get this, Bloodthorn. It's not good in Dota. I know. I don't know why it would be good here. <laughs> no, day night. It is good. All right. I need. I need some more space. All right. Nice. Can I have everything I want? The game's like, yeah, you got it. What does this mean? So, 
Oh, I see. It's pointed at the leather armor. Oh, I see. I thought it was pointed at this acorn collar. Okay. All right, this is the game. For friendship and money. My two favorite things. Yo, this guy hates pigs. Oh my god, dude. She is, like, attacking a lot, but I just swing for, like, 50. Oh, I'm out of stamina. So we basically need to crit with a huge sword and that's it. All right, we did it. <laughs> yeah! Woo! We're gonna take the win, all right. Oh my god, excellent. Take the win. This is the game. Yeah. Feels good. How do I play this game? Oh, I won. Yeah, that's how I do it. This is how I do it. The full version will have more characters, items, and more. I just want to give a shout out to the devs. Don't put two words in the same sentence that close together. Excuse me, I'm a gamer. I'm going to just criticize the grammar instead of appreciating the fact that I played a game continuously for one hour while having fun the entire time. That was mm, so good. But full version will have more characters, items, and more. <laughs> Big L from your pal, Sean. I mean, I'm going to play this game for like five more hours, but still, huge L. Please wish us in on Steam if you had fun. This would really help us out. Doro and Mario. I mean... Switch class? You, you've locked it behind a wish listing? Are you kidding me? Alright, hold on, I'm just gonna wish list it on Steam. Oh, it's playing over here. I added to the wish list. Okay, hold on. What? What? What in the legitimate fuck? It's not out till April. This game sucks! <laughs> Maybe restart the game? I don't know. I've been scammed. Someone help me. Have I been scammed? Did I fall for it? I think it's just in development. I can't believe it. Now, I will say, as all these items rain down on my head, I do think that one of the best things that you can do to express support for a game is to wish list it. I love putting on a little bit of a over the top sort of, oh, what the, I can't, how dare you? My, my left mouse clicks are precious to me. How dare you make me spend one on a wish list? Like that's fun sort of goofy joking to make, but um, one of the most difficult things in the development of a game is communicating that this is a good idea. So for instance, let's say that I'm gonna make up a number. Let's say that this game might cost a few million to make, market, do all the art for, do all the coding, you know, localization. Might take a few million. And this is just a, a simple number that I'm gonna throw out just for simplicity's sake. If some of you are like, well, I talked to them and it cost $800,000, Dana. This is just an example. So in the case where this might cost, say, four million to do everything, um, let's say that you have been able to generate one million. Let's say that have successfully done that and now you're trying to go and communicate to people hey i need you to give me three more million to finish this game and trust me it's going to be great how do you actually communicate that hey look we have a hundred thousand wish lists on steam ranger or reaper New ranked game. Oh, it's a coffin. That's so cute. All right, so let's try to do something that's quite different than we did last time. So there's this is storage coffin. Twenty five percent chance to inflict some poison. Fly agaric. Every five seconds, poisons. So if I hover over, does it tell me which things have synergies? Definitely want the piggy bank. I mean, I may as well just get some damage in, huh?
Oh my god, we survived with one health. To the twist as devs have been told that wishlists are the current hotness for the Steam algorithm. Well, I mean, to dwell a little more on that point, um, it, it, it is... I don't want to call it a little bit hand-wavy, but people are always looking for better ways to say... My thing has not been released and is not yet making money, but here is some data to indicate that if it did release where it could make money, it would be in great shape. I have heard people talk about things like, one, we did a play test, and of the people who completed one game, on average, they played five more games that weekend. This is a really good way to communicate that when people find this game, once they've gotten through it, they're really, really enjoying it. This is different from something like everyone who downloaded the game played for so many hours. Because this suggests that if you find your target market, they're committed. This just might be a representation of the total amount of the market, like this sort of thing. Um, and so like wish lists are a good proxy. If you made an announcement on Twitter, like for instance, we said, hey, we, we launched a studio and we're hiring. And we didn't even like say what the game was. And overall that got like a million views and impressions in like a weekend. This is just me saying this exists and that's it. So, you know, that would potentially be a way for me to communicate, hey, peop people specifically like shit that I do. Look at the numbers, you know. Um, all these kinds of things are not one-to-one, -one, but they can help. And so, you know, I, I, I have heard people say, hey, there's this developer who I think is really great. And I want to support them, but they haven't released yet. What's the best way to do that? Literally, if you just like follow on Twitter and wishlist on Steam and like view a video, th these things are like hugely helpful. I wish to have more backpack slots. What's this do? Broom. Opponent misses attack. Trigger extra attack without stamina cost. Why not? Broom. You know what? I'm going to get this. This. I'm going to get this. And I'm kind of curious if I like put this in there. Hero sword. Oh, when I get, I need another whetstone. Oh, this, this god dang game. So a uh, quick question, if the piggy bank is in my storage, does it do anything? I assume it doesn't, that would be a little weird. So let me just have a little piggy backpack and just stab me. Stamina usage is high. This seems like a little bit more of a balanced play. Why is this not applying the debuff that I think? Is it? Oh, 25% chance. Okay. Oh my god, it is a whatstone. Yes. Okay, so if I... Let's get these turkeys out of here. I'm just gonna re-roll for more space. This is the game. Gonna start the battle. <laughs> yeah, like what, what? What? What do these whetstones do? Weapons? Those star weapons gain plus one damage. Oh, I'm not paying attention, am I? 
<laughs> All right, show me what I got. Oh, they need to be fucking t Can't believe I've done this. Spear over here. So can I like move this? There we go. Criticus is what? Dude, I'm so used to just like pressing all the buttons to try to make sure something is doing something. I need to get rid of that one little dagger. I'm gonna have some real stamina issues. Get out of here, anime dork. Anime is awful. <laughs> hey, no, I know. Alright, what does this thing do? Oh, Ransmore Dimashio. How dare you? Yeah, you know what? Anime is the worst thing on the internet, uh, or via television if some of you are watching on Roku. Like, let's be honest. Anime is when you don't want to have a story told to you. You want to have a story carefully and thoroughly explained to you. Like, let me tell you. Here's, here, here's my favorite trope in anime, okay? Which is where... Person A is talking to Person B. Hey, journey with me to that town three miles down the road. This character, who hasn't said anything for six episodes, will suddenly stop, look down, stare at their reflection in a creek, and go, You know, when I was a young girl, my parents used to travel three miles down the road to that town, and on the way there, they were attacked by bandits. And they kept telling me, don't worry, nothing bad will ever happen to you. But I trusted them, and then they lost their lives. And as a result, I've always had a really hard time trusting people. So I don't really know if it's a good idea to join up with you to go three miles down the road to that castle. And then you see a little tear go down their eye, and they wipe it away. And then that character doesn't fucking talk for six more episodes, okay? That's how they do character building. The event is about to happen. Do we have backstory for that? Oh my god. Have them say their backstory right now. Like, that's anime. That's what anime is. I have no idea. Every time I've opened up an anime, this happens at least once an episode with a different character, and by the end of season eight, which has already been 4,000 episodes, I still don't know any of them. Because they only talk right before the events happen. There's no buildup. I don't even believe it. Well, Gungos' bad storytelling exists in every medium. Don't blame anime. For the sake of the joke, it's anime's fault. Um, let's see what else we can do in this game. So we'd want to do something like this to buff our stuff. And we could... yoink aroni this over here. Aru. But we're, we're a little concerned because we don't have good stamina generation. And I also don't know how magic works in this game yet. Buying and selling stuff like crazy. Now do K-dramas. <laughs> okay. Okay, Turtle Smuggler. All right. Okay. You fucking found my weak point. I didn't realize that that part was showing up bright red like I was a the boss in House of the Dead or something. Like, I had no idea. Like, that's such a mean thing for you to say. After I was criticizing the storytelling in anime, you bring up Korean dramas. Man, fuck you. Get out of my channel. I don't ever want to see you here again. That's the meanest thing anyone has ever said to me. Korean dramas are incredible. They're so moving, okay? And all the characters are so richly explored and explained. And uh, one of my favorite tropes, a relationship contract, does show up in about 70% of Korean dramas. And every time it shows up, I'm like, and what interesting variation are you going to do about it this time? Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, whoops. <laughs> oh, God. All I know is about Korean dramas, there's a ton of product placement. 
yeah, no, we're the we're the we're the the male lead who's a billionaire invites the female lead who's broke to a location where they can talk. And of course, what's invariably going to happen is he's going to demand that she does something that if she doesn't do, she'll lose her job in order for him to have a chance to spend time with her. And the place that they meet to be able to have that discussion is Subway. I don't know if you know this, but that's where most major events happen, particularly in the last three episodes when this Korean drama is realizing they haven't caught up on their sponsor obligations. Like, it is amazing. Some of you are just like, ha ha, did Sean just pick a random fast food chain? No, just literally look up Korean drama, Subway, on Google, and you'll see all the articles. There it is. Eat fresh. Um, yeah, let's fight. <laughs> Friendship and money, my two favorite things, in that order. Uh. Dude, veneer. Wow, stay in my mouth, but get out of my game, veneer. Uh, Sarah says, didn't John Oliver do a thing about this? I don't know, probably. John Oliver's done a thing about everything. Um, For those of you who uh, are curious, my current uh, Korean drama obsession is... Really? I think I need to just get something that generates magic relatively soon. Huh. Extinguish taken by 25%. Oh yeah, I, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted, but the Korean drama I've been watching a lot of. I have one episode left. It's called Business Proposal. And it's so good, dude. All right, I think we're gonna be cracking the piggy bank over here. I don't know if anyone here has seen Business Proposal, but it is so good. business proposal. I love it so much. Does Dan have veneers? Yeah, on these teeth. Ah. I had a chip tooth, and they were like, you want to replace that chip tooth? You're gonna gotta get all these teeth replaced. I'm actually okay if this is out of stamina. I just want to crack the piggy. Heal four and regenerate one stamina. Dude, bananas are out of control. Good fatigue damage to press things along. Da 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 da. Oh shit, it's a trumpet. <laughs> um All right. What is this? Generate a lowly gemstone gem for offered in the shop. So, can I... Is there a way to rotate everything? Alright, so... I'm definitely gonna get this, definitely gonna get this. And I wanna get this, I'll be honest with you. I wanna get this. Because it looks funny to me. So, I, I'm very, very, very curious. If I... I do like this. Can I rotate this? Okay, so. So then that means I can do like this. Uh. 
Um, so then I'm actually going to pull this out, rotate this, put this here, do that, and then we are going to drop that. Five items in front after five activations done for one second. Okay, so then we can... Piggy. Can I double up on this? No, it doesn't look like I can. But now what we can do is we can the hero sword... So since we can't double up on these, we can do it like this. So this is still getting these. And then the spear is here. Wait, what, what does the spear star do? What? Destroy that for each free... For each free slot in front of it. Oh, yo. That's pretty sick, actually. So then that means that we can do this over here... So this is like damage maximization, like this, huh? Sick. This is an interesting little item here. I, mean, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that much good with it, because I'd rather pack my shit all together like this. I can get a much more from that. It's fine, this is the game. Look at that. Uh... But these are... What's the activation on this? Okay, so if I, like, did this... This still is, is proccing. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm learning the game. This is the game. I'm learning the game. So th this, should, this should proc quite frequently. Because now we have the trumpet, which is removing one statement from my opponent every one second. And then the the star items now, now that they're here, will proc every three and a half seconds. This speed is... Where does it show the weapon speed? Oh, there it is. Cool down 1.4 seconds. This is two seconds. This doesn't do anything. This is whenever it's proc'd. I'm gonna do this. This will at least give me one more. All right, cool. Sick, superb, great. That's just literally not the button I want to press right now. That's just not it. How much does this sell for, too? Well... All right, this is the game. All right. Dude, you're trumpeting so hard right now. Dude, I'm like slurping the stamina out with the trumpet. This is so good. I mean, I have no stamina myself. <laughs> All right, nice. Oh... All right, gain life steal. Um, weapons steal 20% life. Killing is gonna 20%. Your poison steals life through vampirism. Damn. I've never heard of nocturnal lock lifter. <laughs> okay, which? For three seconds, inflict fatigue damage. I have both characters to increase fatigue damage. On stun, triggers extra attack. On hit, click two random debuffs. I mean, I have no idea what's good here. I mean, I'll probably just get vampirism because I understand what that means. Consider yourself so. Is there a way to arrange this in such a manner that actually helps me? This is trigger, start a battle. I mean... 
What is this? Ship Sapphire? Wait, what? What? On attack, we have a chance to attack health directly. Huh. Every 11 seconds inflict one cold? Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get this. What's this thing do? A flu? I, I've already had that one before, so I'm gonna get this. Can I like remove this? Okay. Generate a low quality gemstone. thorns. I, I'm going to need some better weapons pretty soon here, but I also need some things that generate stamina. What's this? Chipped ruby? What? Where did this, where did this come from? What? Huh. It's crazy. I love space. Flawed emerald. So this is... This increases a chance to inflict poison, huh? And in armor, this is... Every 11 seconds, use one poison of your opponent to gain two regeneration. Put it into my stuff. What's this do? Every time a blank item's activate, you have a 60% chance to gain mana? So I, I haven't really used any mana stuff yet. Yo, dude, it's a ruby egg. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Alright, now where can I put this turkey here, huh? Probably up here? Sure, why not? This is the game. This is it. I'm pulling. What was Ruby Egg Hash into, man? It's been all powering. Not feeling really positive about what we've done because I run out of stamina so quickly, but that's okay. We're doing a little bit of life gain every time my spear attacks. We heal a little bit. It looks like we're chipping our way in. Fatigue sets in. All right. I mean, so far, so good. What is this crazy in the coconut thing? So what happens when I have... Okay, so hold on. What if I do this with this? So if I do this and I do this, they will join. And if I do like this, it actually just lets it happen. Oh, this is the game. Perfect topaz. Okay. I'll get this. So what, what do I want this in? On attack, 35% chance to gain stamina? Yeah. Right? I mean, this seems great, because I'm having stamina issues anyways. If my opponent has some situation in which they're attacking me, I basically gain a third of a stamina every time I take a hit. Why not? It's the game. I forgot to sell my gold. <laughs> okay, I knew I was forgetting some. Star and click double damage. Dude, look, look at how much life gain I have. 
Look at this. I just I just stay maxed. This is insane. All right. That 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 was easy. All right. Great. Cool. Shift amethyst. Amethyst. What a ruby whelp. Reflect two debuffs, dude. I love my whelp. Gloves of haste. Okay. This is actually amazing. This thing, because this is just smashing through. So first things first, let's sell that shit. Yeah, all right. What is this? All right, I, I, I'll, I should be able to trigger this. get this turkey out of here. So we actually do want this thing here. I think it might be time to ditch the hammer. I'm just going to go ahead and hit it with the yoink. What does this do? Fancy fencing rapier? This might be better, actually. Less triggering, less chance of stunning. No, I want to preserve that there. What? What is it? Is this guy considered army? Or armor? So these are not considered close enough. But if I do it like that, now they're close enough. Okay, this is the game. So this this turn should be absolutely insane because this is 20% faster. And what, what is the thing that this triggers with? Did I not buy it? Yo, I'm an idiot. I literally got those gloves because I wanted to get the vampiric stone. I mean, I'm just gonna do the greedier choice and sell this. And get this, put it there. All right, we we have makey to mistakey, and for that our heart will break. You. That's okay. Yeah, this is exactly how it was. Lifesteal. The fact that this is healing so much. Lifesteal 10% of the dealt damage, and this is like rocking so quickly. Alright, what is this? Chip toe pass? So this, now this says 30% chance to remove a random buff on your opponent. Great. Tax 10% faster, sure. So, Malcolm Void. Oh. So, I actually have a question about this one. So, I understand the first line. The first line says, remove every one second, remove one stamina from your opponent, increase cooldown by that much. Great. So, it's like reduce stamina, wait a little bit, reduce stamina, wait a little bit more, reduce stamina. But then it says, five star items in front. After five activations, stun for one second. 
Does this mean after five activations among the five star items in front, this trumpet will stun for one second? Or does that mean this trumpet, if I have five items in front, then I will stun after I have removed one stamina five times? The former. Okay, so so it is the case that anytime this activates once, Chimple says, you will stun after the trumpet activates five times. That was the latter thing that I said. So it's the latter thing? Or is it the former thing? Okay, let me do it again. Former means of these things in front, if one of them activates, like if my dagger activates or my mushroom activates, that means it is contributing to this second trigger. Or is it the latter? Each time the trumpet activates the first line of text, that's what contributes to the second line only if I have five things in front. Second line has a colon. No, I understand that. Because the way that I initially read this was five star items in front. So this is describing, a, so first of all, look look at the uh, above one. The above one says every one second. So this is a description of a status. Every one second, this thing happens. So I, I view this as a quality that is happening every one second. The second line of text is five star items in front. After five activations, stun for one second. Is this a thing that is applying to the five items in front? Or is this something that is applying to the trumpet itself only if this condition is met? So that's, and th this, this is kind of one of the funny things about playing like a lot of card games, a lot of, well, it's really just card games. This means different things in different card games. But it looks like what everyone is saying is that the trumpet will only do this thing if there are five items in front. If there are five items in front of the trumpet, then if the trumpet itself activates five times, then the trumpet will apply a one second stun. Which I think is actually, which is a better design than how I thought it worked. <laughs> uh, okay, so with that in mind, what, what do I think that I need? I mean, I really want this stuff. <laughs> So this is, this deals 1.5 second, 1.9 second. Oh, so I should swap this. This is a Blood Amethyst. Two to eight, two to four. Nice. Nice. What does this do? See, I really want the on attacked regenerate stamina. Because then I'm just regenerating stamina and life stealing the shit out of everything. Might as well put this here. Put that there. And pass. <laughs> Dude, look at my health. And each time I'm getting hit, there's probabilities of regenerating mana. Dude, look at my health. My health owns, and because I have so much space in front of this spear, oh my god. <laughs> All right, so 
Take the win, ranking change plus 47. Survive 18 rounds, seven left. Of course. Oh, this game is a little bit too good, isn't it? Oh, that's a real fucking problem. Ooh, I don't know about this game. This game's a little too good. Yeah, I'm actually I'm actually a little concerned about this game. This game actually is. Now here's something funny. I can scoot this down one, pull this out, scoot this up, and then just do this to... Is it... Oh, I'm at maximum distance? Yo. That's probably, that's probably a more fair way to make your game. That's probably fair. Because this gives me like a huge smash through, but I probably want here, so that way I'm getting the bonus attack speed. Pro probablement. Um, okay, so let's see here. So that's a stamina sack, so what I actually should do is... I do want this one here, which suggests that this should be here, which suggests that this should be here. There we go. So we have we have a lot of free-floating things. What does this do? 100 percent chance to remove buff. This doesn't seem as good. sell for so this is chipped flawed so I'm just gonna get rid of this because I don't even think I want it to shatter as much as it can. I did all that rearrangement for nothing! Alright. Would love some more of this, but that's okay. Why not? I'm gonna put these here and chill. And I don't really know what the shape of this is gonna turn into at the end of the fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, CXN Ash C Oh yeah, this is Elon Musk's new kid. <laughs> Dude, we are we are absolutely crunching. Look at how our health is just staying maxed out due to these rubies. Alright. Ooh, that's a little bit too fun. That's a little bit too fun. Alright, let's click to continue. All right, what what is Falcon Blade? Uh, yeah, this this is uh, an item that is known for being good replacement for the Ring of Aquila. Um, okay, so let me just I'm gonna set these things out and first place this in. What is this? Items trigger. Yes. Star items trigger thirty five percent faster. That is so stupid. Oh, that's just dumb as shit. Yeah. Just gonna put these here as little reminders. Dude, okay, so what this says... Holy 
shit. Okay, the slot under this will become that one effect applied. Okay, for each three block. For each three block, a star item gains. So I should put this here, right? So these items trigger 30% faster, so these just are attacking faster, right? The Molses are super addicted to this game like me. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having a lot, lot, lot of fun. And the thing is that I want to get as much Topaz as possible. So this is a flawed emerald. So this is just inflix poison. Remove random buff. Yeah, I think I want this here. Items trigger 35% faster. In backpack. Oh, it flicks every nine seconds. If I move it over here, it says every nine seconds. So this. Oh, shit. Huh. But now we've messed that one up. Okay. Probably replace this spear in a little bit. I'm just gonna start. We, we probably need to get rid of these box of riches soon, but I think one more turn is fine. <laughs> Dude, I'm just gobbling their stamina. Look at my health. My health just doesn't get lower. It's starting to get... It's, it's getting quite a bit lower. I'm... I'm... I might actually lose this. <laughs> Try, oh, God. Oh, it's fucking close. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. You lock items by right-clicking them in your inventory? Oh, 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 I thought I was talking about this thing. I was like, what? Yeah, so we definitely want the more stamina thing here. We definitely want this. Oh, I... Wait. Oh, it actually skips over? I did not know it skipped over. Okay. Okay. Start about 55, getting two regen for each holy item. For three seconds to cleanse some stuff. So this is melee. This item is holy. This is just some shitty helmet. So if I did, like, this, it would deal more armor damage, but... Oh, whoops, I didn't realize that I was missing a slot on it. This perfect topaz is pretty insane.
So what are my issues? Yeah, I'm probably gonna buy a customer card. So where, where are we generating some stuff? Okay. I feel like my biggest issue is with stamina. These regenerate stamina when we get hit. to 8 over 1.5. This attacks twice. I think this is right. Let me just go ahead and re-roll. Another one of these. I'm gonna get a banana, dude. A banana a clock. Are you kidding me, man? I love bananas. Not great. What is this? Just the flex poison? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Uh, I'm gonna start the battle. I probably need to sell these pretty soon here. Next round. Oh, this doesn't work because of this fucker. There we go. How'd you come across this game? I've just been hearing some friends talk about it, seeing some streamers I watch talk about it. See, this? This we're crushing. Man, that banana actually helps quite a bit. A great banana. So I want to see what some of these are. So it's just stamina sack. Oh, this is max stamina. I see. Bloodthorn. Oh, we were really, we were very poisoned, weren't we? <laughs> oh, okay. All right, well, you know, this is the game. Is this there? What is this doing? Your opponent's health drops to deal. Opponent, I don't really know what that would do for me. But I'm happy to get this. Why not? Why, why not? Why the hell not? How are these things arranged in here? here. Blood Emerald is chipped emerald. What's this do? Click to reserve? I'm sorry, what? Okay, every two seconds gain some 
luck, some spike. I shall reserve this. All right, I'm just gonna hit next. Let's give it a go. I think I should start to sell these little gem generators. Dude, this guy has so much in his backpack. Oh no, this game's too fun. Worst thing I've ever heard. See, my opponent is out of stamina, and we're generating so much stamina from our topaz. Did you hear a cat? You did. Hey, Sheriff. Yeah, you want to come out? You want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Oh, my Sheriff. Oh. Okay, well. Well. Oh, there's Chip Topaz. Okay, so I just get this. How, how does this how does this even work? So this is my fancy fencing rapier, so if I like do this. Maybe? Maybe yes, maybe no. Maybe absolutely so, my bro. Got a little baby cat here. So this is five. Actually, it's cool down five. I don't think we have anything that empowers. I don't think we have anything that empowers. All right, easy. I love this cat so much. We love winning. We love winning. The best ever, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Um, I think I think I just I think it's a good day to pass, is what I'm feeling. Yeah, I hear that. This does destroy block for free. I don't even care. Start. Here, share bear. It's my stamina generation. Ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. Holy shit, I'm getting fucking shit on. Holy shit. Oh my god. I have never been so smacked in my entire life. Look at this. I've just, I'm getting mauled. I'm getting murdered. This is amazing. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. This is fantastic. What is... So this is a Bloodthorn, on hit, convert, regeneration into one vampirism and one spike. Cool. Deals plus one damage per spike and that. 13 spikes. That's a lot. Vampiric Gloves gains this. Starting to trigger 30, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Convert 30 health and gain two. Oh, my God. So my opponent was, like, as vampiric as possible. And then these spike shields are proccing this. This is, this is awesome. Hey, 
Hey, you like my you like my sweater? That was that that I mean that was awesome to see. And then these am amethyst gems. Um, your opponent's healing is reduced by fifteen percent. That's nice. So here, like. Twenty-three damage. So if I like go back to the middle of this fight, Chip Ruby, let's go, Chip Ruby. What does this do? Gains. Wow, dude! On melee attack, you just gain a block, and we have a bunch of melee attacks there. Sweet. All right, I think I've done enough learning there. Hey, little buddy, what's up? So, remove a random buff from your opponent. So let's do a lot of random buff and removal. So let's see here. I'm probably just going to ditch these because I'm finding them a little overwhelming to keep track of. And we have our, our buff removing whelpies. I think the spear might, might need to say goodbye. I don't know when this would ever trigger. But I think that the every two seconds doing that is good. Okay, so let's re-roll this. Oh, I have a whole other row down here that I can use. Very nice. Sell for three. Eh. I'm kind of feeling like I want this lightsaber. like just a few too many just random gems kind of floating around here um so i kind of feel a little bit like i want something else this and another sword. I want to go for... This is eight, you say? How much is this? This is two. So how, how would I even seek to place this? Okay, so I see how I'll do this. I'll pull this out, pull this lamp out, I'll move these down, and move the triplet here. So then I can actually just have these little things arranged however I so desire. Oops. So then I can just fit this as I so need in here. Spear is pretty bad right now, then. What is this? 
it can hit above, so I can actually rotate this a little bit. Dude, look at the three dragon wolves for villain, but our, our life gain plan and our stamina on damage plan is, is working out okay for us. Dude, villain is generating a lot of bonus blocks somehow. I don't really know how that's happening because I just started playing this game today. I know, that feels, that feels, feels quite good. So if I pull this out and pull this guy out. Um This is nice that every single attack it does, it blocks that. What if I shifted everything down? Yeah, I think that's that that does seem to be the solution. up here. We're happy with that. Let me make this right side up because there's something that feels offensive to me about having it arranged like that. Okay. So this now affects these three weapons. Which is positive. I also do want this. Lots of life steal. This still has two empty slots like this. It's possible to crunch this in one. This is not possible to crunch in one. Get this a little closer. thing here. Alright, this is the game. Heroic Potion also seems... seems alright. Not incredible. So we put this somewhere. Do I actually have enough space? See if I can actually shift things around because we have one, two, three, four available slots. We want to leave this here. So if we if we tuck this here, we can have this arrangement. Here. And then we're almost there. We just need to move one singleton somewhere elsewhere. And that'll do it. I'm sure that I can make this work somehow. Oh, I love spatial reasoning. Okay, um... Alright. 
trumpet is in good shape. I haven't seen this one until the end. I think this is I think this is this is as good as it's gonna be. I'm using the spear to try to shatter in front. These are gonna combine. So this is cold, 25% chance to gain that, and I think we would rather have that in there as well. So I don't want this down one, because then this will So we're gonna get a Bloodthorn, which is cool. My opponent has so much armor, I'm really glad I worked hard to keep the spear up. Because now we can actually break through that, and we're still life stealing back up. Dude, why did they start with so much armor? Alright, so I'm out of stamina, but because I have a bunch of armor with Topaz in there, we are gaining so much stamina every time we're damaged, which is what allows all our weapons to attack. Oh my god, yes! Ship it! Dude, ship it! And I, I think the fact that we have these... Wait, I'm done? Sheriff Meow! No! I thought I was gonna get to keep playing! No! I want to see my numbers were getting so huge, dude! Oh! I hate this game! This game sucks! I'm on wishlisting the game! Oh my god. My numbers. My numbers, man. And now a bunch of stuff is falling onto my head and my cat's meowing. This day sucks. Let me get some coffee. Stay here and talk amongst yourselves. Meow. Wait a minute. All right, this game is just so sick. You thought they were bouncing off my head. You thought I had some. You had some, thought I had some technology. Here, come here. Come here. Come here. If you want attention, you know to, you know where to go. It's here. Oh, it's terrible. That's coffee. It's coffee. Dad uses this liquid to be more interesting. Without it, I'm just a fucking guy. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, tell me. Tell me your secrets. All right, let's shit on some stuff. <laughs> All right. So here's here's what I'm going to try to do. Here's what I'm going to try to do. I I am going to try to use mana. I'm going to try to use mana. Where, where are we going? What do we want to do? Okay, I'm not going to use mana. I'm going to hug my cat. You want to use mana? This cat is just so sweet, isn't she? Isn't it just wonderful? Like, this is as amazing as it looks. It's just as awesome as it looks. Like, she is really, really soft. Yeah, shake it off. She's cute. All right, what does this do? Opponent attack misses, trigger an extra attack. On hit, if you have at least one, Mana, 25% chance. Alright. And my recipes are...
Huh, I wonder what these are. Got some armor. So that's a bloodthorn. Okay. Does she have a nice kitty smell? Of course. I smell my cats all the time. They smell they smell awesome. I love sniffing my cats. I think this wooden buckler is actually pretty good. While QA le programmer. <laughs> bing, biddity, bing, ding, bing, bing, bong. Alright, let's get this. I'll take this. I'll get this. Alright. I mean. Alright, this is great. So you're understanding how the combat works? Well... Oh wait, is this a walrus tusk on a wooden buckler? Oh my god. So that's how you learn how combos work in this game. It is a good day to die. Wow. So we, we need something to generate some mana. Alright, I'll, I'll take everything you have. Get in the thing! Dude, I'm going to play this game a lot. I've actually been curious to try out some just more auto battlers in general, because I really enjoyed my time playing Mechabella. Like an insane amount. Dude, look at how much look at how much block I have. It just it just won't stop getting bigger. This poison is actually better than I think. Dude, I'm... Alright. I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna try to get a bunch of spike shields. That seems pretty cool. Did you play backpack here? Never have. I'm not even paying attention. I'm just trying to get. Okay, so this is a on attack. You just gain that. Mhm. Mm that's pretty sick. That is pretty sick. And here is the thing that gain, bro. Can I reserve multiple things? Okay, this game's actually, I think, a little too generous with its slotting. I think it's a little too generous. This game might actually wind up being a little too easy to just make your stuff pop off. What is this thing? Lucky Piggy? Wow. That's amazing. Up the rarity? Hell yeah. 
on. Put this here. Do thorn whip. Okay, so I mean, like, I, I said I was going to do one thing, and I'm, I'm, I think, very sincerely just not doing that at all. All right, this is the game. Oh my god, this guy's a banana. Dude, look, <laughs> this is not close. That makes sense. This is this is the first little piggy. This house is made of. Wood. Who lives in a chicken turkey piggy neighborhood? I wonder how you craft that. All right, starting it up. Oh, what is this? Deck of cards, playing cards are offered in the shop. I'm sorry, is this a weapon that permits me to gamble? Is this the game? This is good, right? Hmm. Simon 04090. I apologize, but I do need to react a little strongly to some of the way you've been communicating here in my chat. You will need to forgive me, but when you say day nine, you are putting the non cooldown stuff in fanning bags. That makes no sense. I want to emphasize. I'm not making decisions to hurt you. I'm not making decisions because I am 100% convinced they're the right thing to do and I've gone through a chain of logic, at which point I thought to myself, I'm gonna do this and anyone else who thinks anything else is wrong. I've played this game for less than three hours now. I don't know what any of those nouns are that you just used. The reason that things are the way that they are is because I've just gotten this game. So if there's thoughts and suggestions you have. Again, saying I would do X is an extremely reliable, safe way to communicate. It's a really safe way and reliable way to communicate. Because if you say, I I would put this item in the fanning bag, whatever a fanning bag is. What is a fanning bag? Is it one of these? I gotta click back in the game. So this fanny pack. Nice. I would say, I would do this. I would consider this, I would do this, because then you're just, you're just sharing your thoughts on the game, which is great. Anytime you delve into the step of, you need to do this, do this, what are you doing? Do this, do this, do this. It starts being command-based. Suddenly, it, it is unnecessarily confrontational could have communicated the same information without being confrontational. And then one step further is doing something that is mildly insulting or denigrating or put downing, you know. Um, hold on, let me just, I'm gonna go on to subscriber only chat because I can see a, a number of you are like, hey, day nine is pushing back on one person. It's time for all of us to dogpile on this one person. That is not what it is time to do. Um, but when you go one step further and you start to down, like, dude, what are you doing that doesn't make any sense? You are sheriff and quiet. When you're, where you're saying like, that doesn't make any sense, or what are you doing? Or why aren't you doing blank? Things like this start to, it's, it's really unhelpful and negative in a way that just like doesn't matter. Because again, you can pull all the way back and say, I would do X when I see Y, and you communicated the same thing. So I'd appreciate, and when I say I would appreciate, I don't mean like I'm trying to dunk on you. I mean, genuinely, I would really appreciate if you want to, Sheriff, give me one second. I had to hit her with a real life spray bottle in the same way I'm hitting you with a metaphorical spray bottle. But I, I would generally appreciate uh, if you want to like stay in this channel and 
engage and chat and participate and say things that then I'm responding to and we can have like a back and forth. That's like one of my favorite things. I love that. And this is like a good way to invite that. Again, things that are of the nature of, I like doing X here. I like doing this and so on and so forth. That, then that winds up being much more uplifting. So let's see here. So these are the items trigger faster. So what is things that would actually trigger? It would be this fly agar and it would be this thorn whip, right? So therefore, if I just pulled this out and did like this, then we're getting the double bonus. We're getting the singleton bonus. I think this is what you were roughly suggesting doing. Oh, we have another one. So then I can actually do like this, and this will like that. So now this is hitting one, two, three fanny backs. This is hitting two. And I think that seems pretty good. I don't think we have a good setup for this. Randomly gain this or that every two seconds triggers 10% faster for each star item. I'm gonna buy this for now. And I'm gonna sell my broom because I said I was gonna do something mana focused and I just haven't. So I'm just gonna end, I'm just gonna start this because I spent a while doing this. <laughs> Chat what are your thoughts on this game now that you spent a few hours on it? I think it's fantastic. The core idea of it is unbelievable. The core idea of this is just unbelievable. Special access to this game since it was only a demo on Steam? That's what I'm playing. I'm playing the demo. Isn't that completely overpowered? So this is inflict fatigue damage. Trigger percent faster during fatigue. Okay, so this is like a delay thing if I wanted to do. On stun, triggers extra attacks. On hit, inflict two random debuffs. I'm gonna do the vampiris again. So, I'm now going to... I mean, I only have this one weapon. Playing cards are offered in the shop. So if I like do this, this thing is is this like that? Okay. So on reveal, your next hit is critical. The number of cards before is odd. Huh, this mechanic is bizarre. I am not sure what I think about this. Also, let me see if I can get the knife flute in here. Please click there, thank you. I could increase it by doing something, huh? I need another one slaughter, so I think this is fine for now. I want to get a bunch of these. These are cool. <laughs> Holy armor, huh? 
This is funny that I can speed this up, because I assume that... I mean, this is kind of happening fully independently. I mean, I guess I'll get this. I mean, I guess I'll just, like, get this and put it here. And get this and, like, put it... Put it here and, like, commit to playing cards? Like, I don't really know how this stuff works. So I make, like, a weird deck. <laughs> okay. Goober. Cool! What's this do? Generate that for each card before? Reserving all the things. I, mean, I should probably put some stuff here, huh? We have enough to, like, put in more, but I'm just kind of, like, zooming ahead. Because I, I actually really am not sure I like this card mechanic. Hoping to clobber Kleber over here. <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure I like this one very much. White Eyes Blue Dragon. Alright, I mean, that's... God, it appears to be sick. Alright, how, how, how do we... How in the hell are we gonna do this? Wait, wait, wait. What, what is this connect to, to the to the fly guard? Really? Well. I think I still want to... Oh, shit, we have the Hungry Blade. Just stay there, Goobert. So, how do I arrange those things? Thorn at some point. That's nearly correct. this piggy. Get out of there. Okay, there it is. Pleasure cons, have you heard about Tempo Storm's game, The Bazaar? I, I, uh, the Bazaar has been in development for, like, a really long time, if I remember correctly. The villain also has a bloodthorn with life steel. Aye, aye, aye. I mean, we, we get an insane amount of thorns. <laughs> Bizarre's rain ads game, that's correct. Okay, so what is this? On hit, convert that into that, and that deals plus one damage for that. Well, wait, I'm a little confused. I'm definitely going to get this thing. But 
we don't have anything that creates that kind of generation, right? Ooh. Start a battle gain this, it deals plus one damage per blah on crit gain that. But the, see this? The, the, I actually think that this is really weird. Because this, this, if I combine two weapons, I lose the ability to generate spikes at the start of battle. Like, that's weird, right? Because this says, at the start of battle, gain two thorn, or two spikes, excuse me. It deals plus one damage for spike and on crit gain spike. It's just plus one damage per spike and vampirism, but... Yeah, no, I... I will be very plain. I despise that. That is, I hate that more than anything in the entire world. I genuinely think that is a incorrect way to design something. With all sincerity, sir. Uh, when this items are activated, okay. I have this little weird mess here. So, let's put our, let's put our dude a little close here. It's just left and right, huh? that might be better than this arrangement. I see. So then I can, like, go up. I, I, I'm not a fan of the playing card mechanic. It does not, it does not bring me joy. sell all these things. These are weird. The effects just don't seem as strong as I would have imagined. So, you know what? I'm not going to commit to doing this. I'm just going to sell all these. And invest in the things that actually make me happy. Yeah! Yeah! Which means I can do this and scoot this up one and then buy a lightsaber. This consumes that. So we actually want something that can... Might as well grab this. My flask. Oh, hell yeah. All right, we, we, have, we have maximum storage space. Oops, uh, this is... Dude. All right. <laughs> so I think we've massively neutered the impact of our build due to the fact that we got this Bloodthorn. Yeah, our, our build is oops all bags. <laughs> We're still doing okay. Oh, I really need another fly guard. All 
All right, so I I'm looking for I'm looking for some vampirism. is da food damage. Oops, all bags. <laughs> this pineapple do or what's this? Oh dude, yeah. We got we got more we got more thorns. This is the game. This is the game. All right, I, I find myself going for life steal like every time. All right, we're doing some damage. We're maintaining a lot of the flame and stamina. All right, we're about to heal for twelve. There it is. Good job. Good job, my little baby Google. Take that, Walla Walla. I really don't like our build that much, so I'm probably just going to bail out if we are given the opportunity to. That seems very good. This is going to be good for our... What? Is that so? Is that so? Okay. I'm gonna reserve this, but I'm gonna buy this because I am a backpack gamer. <laughs> Book of Light seems pretty solid. I'm not really paying that much attention to what my opponents are doing because mentally I feel like I just don't understand enough about how this game works yet. So I'm, I'm currently just trying to figure out what I am and how I work. It would be nice to get more spike shields though. Should have favored getting more tusks early on. It seems like they're just not showing up very much. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're absolutely going to do survival mode because I just said that I would bail out early, and uh, I'm not doing that. You couldn't pay me a million dollars to do that garbage. Convert 30 health to 16 gain 2 every 3 seconds. Convert 10... Really? Oh my god, that is just so profoundly exactly what I want. All right, this is the game. Post game and analyze the damage breakdowns. You couldn't pay me a million dollars to do that, Ratman, forever. I am busy just trying to get armor. I'm so big, and I'm enjoying my numbers getting so big. Well, I'll be honest, you could pay me a million dollars to do it. Just don't go through Twitch. Send it to me directly, please. <laughs> So we have some we have some nice life gain. Round 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 one. Oh my god, is it Tusk o'clock? I mean I mean, I'm, I'm the most durability buddy. For each thing. So this, these are the spike. The spike shields are the ones that are really generating the good stuff here. Okay, share bear. Okay, sweetie pie, sweetie pie. So I think I want this something like here. how to get this in. This is every... So if I move this over to this side. So this... This is on any melee attack. It's doing this, so... So 
this generates, this generates. Is there anything else that generates some block? Seems good to me. And then when this combines, we swap the location of these two. Cool to be able to upgrade Goober. <laughs> Whoa, look at the chain of potions. 13 poison. But I do have hundreds of block, and they do seem to continue to be going up. My block is just staying really high. Let's go block. Dude, I, I actually think that this and this together are just a little insane. I am taking 45 poison damage. That's a lot. 51. 63 poison damage is quite quite some poison damage. Oh my god, I won. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, that was I was actually quite quite honestly the easiest game of backpack battles I've ever had. So what what are these things? This is a poison goober. Cleanse that and inflict that. Whoa, I want poison goober. And you stop healing? That's a little weird. Yeah, I guess I have the book of light. Oh, I see. This guy has a lot of hungry blades. Oh, that's an interesting way to do it. Arrow, pestilence, demonic flash, pestilence flash, demonic flash, pestilence flash, demonic flash. All right. Oh, that was so good. So the this swaps position with this. Yeah, I mean, I'd love the membership card, but let's see what happens with this. Oh, I see. Very well. get my membership card. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the thing. Point three damage for each debuff of your opponent. Alright. do something with potions at some point in my life. All right, bag gaming, engage. Oh, we have some food there. These guys are just so happy. Do I have one weapon? <laughs> I just defend. All I do, you know, I like to defend. <laughs> actually gonna rock? Holy shit, it rocked. I mean, I'm still gonna win. Dude, I am robust. I just spiky on people. and the lightsaber? Really? You guys combine together to do shit? All right. I mean, I'll 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 bite. I'll learn what this stuff does. I reserve this. I'll find out. 
I'll learn. Okay, so there's a lot of combining happening over there. Uh, hmm. Dude, I get so much block. Literally, I genuinely think this vampiric armor converting 30 health into 60 block, and then I'm healing with the Book of Lights and Uberts. I mean, I just, I generate so much. We both have a lot of spikes, though. This does not look good for me. If I'm being honest. We've been out spiked. <laughs> All right, this is the game. Okay, so if I get this, what? Hold, hold, hold the entire phone for a moment. Now yeah, we'll get this. Just I need more space to work. So if I. Was this triggering because there was the... Oh, so I can place this one here. Ah, like that. do want that one, though. Huh? Um, uh, hmm. This, 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 I think is my most, my most useless decision yet. Yeah, I think that that's what I'm just gonna bail on this. And I'm gonna yoink this, because I don't know what I'm doing. This is a banana. Stone skin potion. Wait, what? Healing herbs? Okay, that's interesting. Alright. Learning about some more combos. So this guy has a lot of melee attacks, so our spikes are just going over time. And it's nice because it doesn't actually cost any stamina, so I don't really need to use that much stamina. And it is looking like we will eventually crumble. Uh-oh. I don't know if we can pull this one off. No, this is, this is fine. This is fine. But we... But we are learning. Oh, so I'm out. So it says I have one try left. Is that is this a lie? Did I lose? Okay. Switch class. Switch class. Switch class. 